hello friends welcome back to online math Hub. okay so we're gonna be solving this uh, equation right here okay so all we have is uh, x power 4 is equal to 9 so we're just gonna be finding the root of this equation okay so that is we're gonna find out all the values of x that are actually gonna satisfy this equation right here but just before we continue as usual if you are new to our channel do want to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and also turn on the notification icon so that whenever we release new content you actually get to know about it and of course once you're done doing that we can proceed with this video and then of course if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much hit the like button even as we uh, proceed with this video okay so uh, to proceed i'm actually gonna rewrite this x power 4 as x power 2 and then of course power 2 so that of course when i use this to multiply these two it gives me back x4 right there and then 9 i can write it as 3 power 2 okay and then the next thing i want to do is actually to bring this uh, 3 power 2 to the left hand side so of course basically i'm going to sub be subtracting uh, 3 power 2 from both sides so that what i now have is x power 2 then of course power 2 minus 3 power 2 is equal to 0 so clearly here you can see that what i have is a difference of two squares and then of course you can remember that if we have a power 2 minus b power 2 you can actually expand uh, this to be a plus b and then of course multiply by a minus b okay so if i apply that here in this case you can see that my a is actually x power 2 and then b is equal to 3 right there so if i apply that what i'm going to be having is x power 2 uh, plus 3 and then of course x power 2 uh, minus 3 okay and of course is equal to zero so what i'm going to be doing here is i'm going to be uh, applying the zero product rule which basically says that when the product of two or more times equals zero it's either any of the terms is equal to zero or all of the terms are equal to zero so in this case it is either x power two plus three is equal to zero or this x power two and then minus three is equal to zero so picking all of these cases one after the other let me solve this one right here so what i have is x power 2 uh, plus 3 is equal to 0 so i'm gonna move this 3 to the right and side. so subtracting 3 from both sides what i'm gonna be having is that x squared is equal to negative 3 and at this point i can just go ahead to take the square root of both sides so that i can be able to eliminate or uh, uh, cancel this square right here so i have this square root of course this is also plus or minus okay and these two can actually cancel this square root so what i have is x is equal to plus or minus a root negative three okay so moving on i can ask also simplify this to be equal to plus minus so uh, this is root negative one and then multiply by three okay so i can go ahead to split that and if i do that what i'm going to be having is plus or minus a root negative one and then multiply by root three and of course root negative one is actually i okay so i'm going to be having plus or minus i multiply by root 3 right here okay so that eventually what i have for x is equal to plus or minus root 3 i and if i split this you're going to be seeing the of, of first two values of x and of course the first one is plus root 3 i okay and then the second one let's see or uh, negative root negative root 3i or negative i root 3 so whichever one okay and then uh, i haven't gotten these two uh, values i can fall back to what i have right here 
okay and then i can fall back to this second case and then solve for the remaining uh, two values of x okay this and of course what i have there is x squared minus 3 is equal to 0 this is x squared and then minus i can write this as root 3 and then power 2 so that of course i can use this to to cancel these roots and then of course i'm back to this this is i'm back to three and of course this is equal to zero so using the difference of two squares i can expand this to be x minus root three okay and then multiply by x plus root three and of course it's equal to zero and then here i'm actually going to be applying the zero product rule and of course if i do that i will have that x minus root 3 here is equal to 0 or x plus root 3 is equal to 0 too and obviously from here you can see that x is equal to root 3 okay or on this side x is equal to negative root 3 and of course that is what we have right here and then if i want to put all the values of x which we've gotten in this uh table right here and so the first one x is equal to i root 3 okay and then uh, the second one so let me just name them x1 x2 x is equal to negative i root 3 and then for the third value of x which of course x is equal to negative root 3 and then the fourth one let me name that x uh, subscript 4 x is equal to okay negative x is equal to positive root 3 okay so these are the four values of x that is actually going to satisfy the equation we are solving so if you understood what was up make sure you hit the like button subscribe to our channel for more updates and then of course i'm going to see you guys in my next video bye